What's up, guys? You just saw what we're doing today. We are taking a paint pour into some farmhouse style, which doesn't really mix, but we're going to try and make it mix. <laughs> I have faith in us. <laughs> I have faith in us as well. So we're going to uh, do... Actually, wait a minute. Jamie Macon and the husband. Easy DIY decor. That's us. That's what you're here for. Give us one of these. <laughs> Say hello. Subscribe if you like the craziness. And uh, if you like this type of project, give us a thumbs up so we know you guys like it. And we'll do more of them. Actually, yes, we'll yes. show you more of them because we're going to do a bunch of these paint pours. And I will get it switched over. So here we go. Okay. So we need to flood the round with a little black. But we need it without the water because we think that helps make cells. So we're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is only our second. Okay. So I got the thingy ready. You know what? I probably could have taken the top right off of here. That's okay. It looks like black ketchup now. It does look like black ketchup. It helps that it comes out of a bottle that looks like ketchup, huh? Yeah. Black, um, black maters. I wonder if that's a thing. That's a thing, isn't it? I think that there's, there's actually a, a variety of tomatoes that are black. We can do that. We'll put a black line. Put a black line where we're going to do it. And then we can just put everything on top of that. Fish. Where are your words going to go? Um, so good to do a little planet here. Or another. Actually, what I, I wasn't necessarily thinking of doing words. I was thinking of putting a picture. Oh, okay. Those are going to be a picture one. Yeah. So it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Okay. So let's throw a little white in there. White with the water. Give it a little stir. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna do a little little shimmy shake on this one. A little bit, yeah. It looks like a cupcake. Looks like you're looking it down does. on top the of a cupcake. cupcake. The hostess ones, right? Oh, remember too, we watched one of the videos. They said to start off so you don't get the big globbers. Oh, unless you want so the big globbers, yeah. Gonna try that. See, we're learning, guys. We're going. We're rem trying to remember. That's the problem. That, that is the issue. <laughs> for being honest. All right, this one is gold. So, it's pure gold. I don't think I don't it's think pure gold. It is. <laughs> Probably not pure gold. It was. I mean, it was two dollars as opposed to one. <laughs> so there's that. But in terms of cheap acrylic paint, it is pure gold. Yeah. I'm gonna go a little wild with this one. You are here. going a little wild. A little rogue, if you will. Oh. Whoosh, way down there. Whoa. That's a lot of gold. <laughs> It is a lot of gold. I think it's okay. Okay. It's going to be all right. As long as you like it. It's going to be okay. And this is a gray that we made from the black and the white. And I'm going to go a little rogue with this one too, I think. Oh. Because I'm a rebel, yo. You are a rebel, yo. <laughs> I kind of want a heavy amount of gray. Heavy-ish. Heavy -ish? Like, pour the whole cup on. Whoa. Sort of a situation. Wild pants. So you're done with the color? You want to add something different? I think we need to add black along the sides to blow into again. Yeah, probably. With the water, right? No, I don't know. I thought the I thought this one was the one that was the water. You flood it with the knot and then blow into the. Okay, sure. I don't know. This I don't is remember. the one I used for the bottom swipe. So okay, <laughs> we'll give it a try. <laughs> you gotta make a decision and commit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it just gives it a little something to get into. You are much smoother with the paint than I am. Mine are all jittery and shaky. I gotta get a torch. 
husband went out to get a thing. I decided to go rogue again. Because I kind of like the idea of the gold. <laughs> okay, so we don't have a butane, butane torch. But I do have... <laughs> My map gas from plumbing. So we're going to try this and just be really careful. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm going to move some of the plastic I'm gonna get the away. Plastic out of it. Just, oh. I'm going to go easy. Here we go. Oh, yeah. See how the bubbles pop out of it? I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Yeah. Okay. Considering how hot that is, I think that's enough. <laughs> All right. So, a little. Uh, Little blower action. Here you go, babe. Louie noticed, recognized the hair dryer. He dislikes the hair dryer. And went running. He says, no, 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 thank you. Get to some of the black under there. Does it pop through a little bit? Yeah. It looks very cool. Our lights are kind of washing out, but it looks very much like marble. Yeah. I don't know if I can get it up to where you guys can see it a little bit. See how it kind of looks like a marble? You know what I can do is use my phone. There you go. We'll do a quick zoom over here. Our lights are set up for crafts, not for paint pours. Yeah. Starting to get some cells going on over here. But that spot right there in particular looks quite marbly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there we are. We're starting to get some cells over here and get a little, it's like crackling. The top coat's crackling. It's kind of mm -hmm. cool. So yep. we're going to let it sit and uh, dry overnight and we'll be back with you guys in a minute and tomorrow for us actually i'm gonna go ahead and say we're gonna be back 
Um, pretty much instantly. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> okay, so this is after <laughs> I put all the stuff out. We we're going to show them here in a minute, but that's okay. This is <laughs> after it dried. You guys can see the marbling really shows up on it. And if you look, you can see this is actually the wood grain in the background. So you get the wood grain that shows through. There's a little line of like ridge in the paint. Then you get all the marbling for everything kind of float out. And you can see some of the gold. Yep, there's a gold vein through there. <laughs> <laughs> it came out really cool. Boy, when you move it, when you twist it, you can catch the gold. The shimmers? Yeah. yeah. Once we get the clear coat on, I think those golds will show up really well. Okay, so. So that looks pretty good, right? Absolutely. Of course it looks good. Now we're going to turn it farmhouse. <laughs> weird. With a milk can. Yes. It is a little weird, but that's okay. I kind of like yeah. it. I like it too. Yep. It's, you're not going to find this anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to try and do this white because the backgrounds, is, I mean, for doing farmhouse white or black or gray, it's kind of hard to cover over white, black, and gray and have it stand out. Yeah. But we think white should stand out the best on this. Yeah, I think white will do it. So. And then we're going to do this at the top. We're going to use the, the Shimmer, Shimmer Harvest. Harvest, which I like as a gold because it's bright. It's the bright, shiny gold. And we're going to use that as the drop shadow for white. So kind of make it pop off and stand off yeah. a little bit. If you want to fuzz them, I will wax. All right, I'll board. fuzz you wax, and we'll be right back in a second. Okay, we are all prepped. Surface has been waxed. Transfer is fuzzed. Good to go. And break. <laughs> and break. <laughs> okay, do you want to do the milk can first or the farm fresh first? Milk can first. Milk can first. So we're going to keep him at the bottom. Something like that. Does that look centered? Hard to tell. It is hard to tell. Because we're not actually in the center of it. And plus you start seeing the, you I call them the flames. Yeah. You got. It's hard to see where center is. So don't look and at that. It's around. I think that's pretty close. I think we're going to run it. I think we're going to run it too. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think it's good enough. <laughs> well, you can tell us what you think. It's going to be too late. <laughs> Appreciate. By the time you say this, it will be done, yes. Appreciate the effort, but <laughs> too late. <laughs> uh, thanks, babe. <laughs> you just pointed out how pretty I am. <laughs> well. well. <laughs> that was no comment on your part, huh? You are pretty. <laughs> I didn't marry, well, I was going to say, I, don't, I didn't marry well, uh, for yep. your looks, but that's exactly thanks, what I'm babe. saying. <laughs> I don't know. Just keep chalking. It's okay. I, I edit that part out, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. Uh, oops. I missed the spot. spot. All right. Here we go. Let's see. We don't know how this is going to look, so you guys check it out with us. Fingers crossed, please. Oh, that actually stands off good. Yes. Very oh, cool. I like that. Yeah. We weren't sure being white on the gray like that if it would stand out. And it doesn't yep. stand out a lot. But I think that's okay. Yep. Yep. It's just a little subtle detail. Yep. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't even say subtle because it's not like it's blends either. I don't I don't know what I'm saying. All right, so if you're going to do if we're going to do the shadow, it's got to be offset a little bit one way or the other. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do. Okay. I'm going to let you offset it. Okay. So, the trick to the shadow technique is you got to set your design where you want it to be the top layer, where you want it final, what you're actually going to look at. And then you slide it a little bit. I'll just show you exactly what I shift mean. it just a little bit. I think that's right. Okay, so that's what we want it, where we want it to be at the end, which means I need to slide it over a little so there is a shadow behind it, because you have to do the shadow first. Okay, and we're doing the shadow in the, what was it? Harvest? Shimmer Harvest. Shimmer Harvest. Insert oohs and ahs here, folks. Oohs and ahs. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to pick up a little bit of the gold color that's in the, in the pour. 
that's pretty cool. Okay, hang tight. I'm going to clean this off and then we'll go for the white. Yep. Okay, so freshly washed. I'm going to let you put that where you want it. So it's All right. your replacement. You know what? It's just fine. Dry it? Yeah. You want a quick shot with the dryer? No, I should be fine. Okay. Excuse me, Lid. You're invading my space. Okay, so you're okay, just gonna so you can it. see that it's you can see the gold through it. Yes, yep. yes. All right. So what we're gonna do is move it over and up just a smidge. So you get a drop, channel. Right. Tell me when you're good. Okay. Thank you. Yep. That way it doesn't slide on you when you're yep. trying to let go of it. Sometimes when you're holding <laughs> on to the transfer, it'll stick onto the back of your fingers. You go and. Lost it the whole thing. it all. <laughs> when you do your top layer, you don't have to go super duper, super heavy, strong, pushy, pushy. You can just do a nice, gentle top coat so that you do not risk any of the paste underneath. You should you should. do a thicker layer to make it cover, or does it usually cover pretty well? It should still cover pretty well. The only reason I have to do, like I'm kind of going over it a couple times, um, is because we're going over shimmer and there's a bit of a texture to shimmer. Ah. So I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Good. Yes, sir. Here we go. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Ooh. Oh, that makes it stand off good. I don't know if you guys can see okay, it. We're going to have to. There you go. So you can see it just kind of gives it that drop shell and makes it pop right off of there. You know, we can get in there with the super cam too. There you go. We'll get you a good camera, good close up right here. Okay, so we got the drop shadow and everything going, and we're looking at the milk can, and it almost this stands off so nice with this with the shadow. Um, I feel like the milk can needs something, so Jamie had a good idea. So we have the outline. Um, I'm just gonna go in with a paintbrush and paint it solid. And then we can take the transfer and go back over top, put the details onto a solid background. That way you don't get the paint pour, the multicolors poking through, and I think it'll make it stronger, make it stand off more. Because mm -hmm. this is so, you it's clear, it's crisp, you can see it, and yeah. this is kind of faded in. Black can, white lettering? Gray with black. Okay. We'll get geared up. We'll come back, get it painted, then we'll show you. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, after a minute, we decided. Gonna do black can with some white lettering. So we're just gonna paint within the lines. Yep. Which means she's painting. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's do it to it. All right. Okay, dokay. So we got through, got her painted, matched her up a little bit. Now I'm gonna let the wife. Put that exactly, <laughs> exactly where it was before, because I wouldn't be able to. So the neat thing is, is I didn't actually have to cover up the edges, I, because we're doing the exact same thing over it. I just needed to cover the center. So. It was literally a coloring book. You had the lines yep. you had to stay inside of. You got it awfully close. I think that's going to be pretty close. I think it's pretty close as well. Yeah, we're going to call like it? that. Yep. Okay. I'm going to keep my fingers on it. And you just chalk it quick. Okay. <laughs> quick white over top of everything. Yep. Never be afraid to change your project right in the middle. Just we do it me. all the time. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know how it's going to look until you do it, and then you decide, oh, I want to change it up a little bit. Yep. Or, this has also happened to us, you do something and you're like, oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we try not to show you guys violent. those ones, but there's a little chunker right there. Little goober. 
I didn't have enough paint or chalk on me, so I had to get some chalk on me. Yeah. That's a rule. Husband must be covered with a certain amount percentage of paint. Chalk, something. Ready? Yeah, let's See do it. See what happens. <gasps> much better. Oh, yeah. Stands out so much better. That's so cool. Oh, that did come out very cool. It, oh, it looks like we managed to paint pour just. Oh, like we poured yeah. outside. We did. We're that good at paint pouring wow. on our second project that we poured outside of this exact little spot. Totally. <laughs> I will sell that story all day long. <laughs> <laughs> See how good? Yep, much better with the black background. Makes the can stand out. Pops good like that one. So, awesome. Cool. Oh, what are you doing for a hanger? Oh. We have the... I've got this ribbon I thought would look good as a hanger on the back. So, we'll have to staple and hot glue that on. Mm -hmm. We want to do both because of its... its um. It's fabric and it could unravel, so we yeah. want to do both things. Hold it in there. I got that, and I've got um, a little greenery that I'm gonna embellish at the top. But you don't want to watch me do that either, because well, I've got to clear coat it all before we do this anyway. Oh, so. that's right. And I have to kind of fiddle with it a little bit to see so. if it's to see what happens. I'll get it clear coated. She'll get the stuff put on, and you guys will be seeing a picture here about now. now. Awesome. Well, guys, thanks for coming to hang out, checking out our second uh, second farmhouse paint pour. I think it actually turned out pretty good for farmhouse and paint pour blend. Yeah. So if you guys like it, give us one of these. Let us know that you like the paint pours because we'll keep showing them to you as we do them because we got a bunch more we're going to do anyway. So thanks for stopping in, guys. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe if you love us. <laughs> that was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, we're getting serious now. Are we now? Oh, okay, because that, that's totally our MO. Hello, and welcome to our channel. You didn't even get past hello! <laughs> Pull it together, we Normal, all... normal, 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 normal. Okay, you ready? <laughs> yep. <laughs>